joins us now. Welcome in Mike Davis of the Article 3 Project. Good to see you again. A lot, a lot keeps happening, and Judge Eileen Cannon is proving to be quite problematic for Smith, who is used to rubber stamping from these D.C. judges, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, he's used to going to the uniparty judges, whether they're Obama hacks like Judge Tanya Shutkin or they're the uniparty rhinos who get put in D.C. and don't have a backbone. Judge Eileen Cannon is a real judge down in Florida. Uh, she, her family escaped uh, Marxism, so she is fully on to Jack Smith and Jay Bratz games. These are partisan hitmen hit sent, sent by President Biden and Attorney General Merrick Garland to take out President Biden's chief political rival, President Trump. It's very obvious, and I think Judge Eileen Cannon's on to their game. She's going to ensure that President Trump, like all criminal defendants actually get a fair trial, unlike Judge Tanya Shukin, the Obama uh, judge in D.C., who's absolutely going to railroad President Trump. Let me ask you over this issue related to the D.C. grand jury as opposed to the Florida grand jury. I think that's getting a little murky. Well, obviously, it's murky for the defendants, the, the, the legal the attorneys for the defendants. And of course, it's murky for us. Can you, so can you explain a little bit of what is going on and what Judge Cannon is trying to hash out in that respect? Yeah, I mean, it was it's very obvious that the venue is in the Southern District of Florida. That's where the documents are located, documents that President Trump is allowed to have. These are presidential records that President Trump is allowed to have under the Presidential Records Act. But you have the Biden Justice Department led by Jay Bratz before Jack Smith, the political hitman, joins him, misrepresenting to courts that the Espionage Act applies and misrepre misrepresenting to courts, not even mentioning the Presidential Records Act in their pleadings. They go to these biased Obama judges in Washington D.C. who steamroll right over uh, uh, executive privilege, attorney-client privilege. The, the D.C. District Court has become a an Obama hellhole, and that's why the Biden Justice Department goes there, because they know that these, these Obama judges are going to give them whatever they want because they're partisan hacks, whereas you have a real judge with Judge Eileen Cannon down in the Southern District of Florida who's not putting up with the Biden Justice Department's nonsense. Now, this issue, issue is related to the documents case, and this is separate from the, the latest indictments uh, related to January 6th and uh, uh, the election fraud, so to speak, charges. So what is the remedy, remedy here, Mike, if they have presented most of the investigation from the D.C. jury, but they, I guess, did get the charges from the grand jury in Florida, right? Or is that clear? And what what needs to happen now? Does she kind of throw this out? I, I mean, what is the remedy if there is grand jury abuse? Well, she can throw out the charges. She can sanction the attorneys, uh, hold them in contempt. There are a lot of different things that she can do. I want to point out, people need to remember that Jay Bratz, who is the partisan hack who is in charge, uh, uh, one of the lead people in, in the National Security Division at the Biden Justice Department, uh, threatened uh, a code, uh, the uh, uh, Waltz, uh, not as defense attorney, uh, a co-defendant of President Trump threatened this defense attorney. Jay Bratt said that if this dis the, if this defense attorney wants uh, essentially wants his application to for the for a D.C. judgeship to be favorably considered, uh, Walt should turn on President Trump was the implication of what Jay Bratt said to this defense attorney. That is clear misconduct. That alone could get these charges tossed, but Jay Bratt is the one who should be tossed off these cases. He's now counselor to special counsel Jack Smith, a made up title for this hack. Jay Bratt is a, uh, he's a bad person. He is a bad attorney. And if these allegations are true that he threatened a co-defendant's attorney with a judgeship, he should not only be kicked off this case, he should be disbarred and charged with obstruction of justice. 
Absolutely. I also want to get to the protective order because it's very clear that as they've done in cases prior to President Trump, specifically I remember Roger Stone and the judge slapping a uh, sort of a gag order on Roger Stone after Instagram post, uh, the, the government's seeking to keep silent President Trump, who is a contender for the 2024 presidential ticket on the Repu- for the Republican Party, I just, do you see Judge Eileen Cannon going along with this at all? I mean, she didn't honor it to start with. There's responses that are due and then she'll make her decision. But this is a, this is clearly against the president's First Amendment, First Amendment rights. Yeah. I mean, remember the, these, these rights to a speedy trial and these rights related to public comments not to influence the jury. That's to protect the defendants, not the government's. And you're going to see Judge Eileen Cannon follow the regular order when it comes to this case, as she should. But you're going to see Judge Ch- Tanya Shudkin, the Obama hack D.C. judge, uh, probably go along with these protective orders where they're going to try to muzzle a presidential candidate so he can't respond adequately to a, an unprecedented indictment of a former president and a leading presidential candidate during a presidential election. These Obama judges are completely partisan hacks in DC. Uh, and this Jack Smith is a, uh, he is a political hitman who is sent in by Democrats to take out Republican presidential contenders like he did in 2016 with former Virginia governor, Bob McDonald. Jack Smith was reversed unanimously by the Supreme Court, eight to nothing. It would have been nine to nothing if Justice Scalia didn't pass away, but the damage was already done. McDonald was taken out of contention for president or vice president. That's the same play that they're trying to run against President Trump. Now, they don't care if the Supreme Court ultimately reverses this conviction. Actually, they probably hope the Supreme Court does so they can have the twofer of trying to take out Trump and also delegitimizing the first constitutionalist Supreme Court in in 90 years. These aren't these aren't your parents or grandparents Democrats. These aren't liberals who love America. These are Marxists who hate America and House Republicans need to move forward with impeachment and defunding this nonsense immediately. Yeah, it, it, we should. I, I would love to see the defunding aspect of this, and they're still kind of dragging their feet on that. I know you've put that out there a lot on social media, and I'm sure you've had conversations as well. Look, it's going to be a tale of two judges, it looks like, in relation to these Trump trials. You're going to see the, as you call it, Marxist uh, Democrat judge in, in D.C., and then one who's trying to actually adhere to the law and the Constitution in the Southern District of Florida. Thank you for breaking it down for us as we go along, Mike Davis. Always good to see you.